Begin working with the Word 2010 web app by logging into your SharePoint or Windows Live SkyDrive account. Let's log in. Once you're logged into Windows Live, go up here to More and then choose SkyDrive. This displays all your folders and the files you've previously uploaded will be in your My Documents folder. If you need to add files to your SkyDrive account, use the Add Files link here in your Documents folder. When the files are available, click the file you'd like to see. A document window appears and you can choose whether you want to view, edit, download, delete, or move the document. In the More list, you can see that you can also copy or rename the file. Let's view the document. As you can see, the document opens in your web browser window. You can page through the document by using the page controls on the right side of the screen. You can also use the Find command to search for words and phrases in your document. Let's see where the word Office is. Similar to the navigation pane in your desktop version of Word 2010, the entries allow you to move to those places in the document where the words are highlighted. Let's edit this document in Word. As you can see, the protected view bar tells us that this may not be a safe file for us to edit but we know because we created this file that it's all right to edit. So click Enable Editing. The ribbon appears, and for the most part you can see that the word interface is the same in the web app as it is in your desktop version of the software. You can work with the file normally, editing and reformatting as you normally would, And when you're finished, save and then close your document. As you can see, it's uploading to the server, so this file is still being stored in the Windows Live SkyDrive account. Now we can exit Word, and when you're ready to exit SkyDrive, you can simply close your browser window.